So you're working along on your HP Prime graphing calculator when this happens. The screen dims. Well, there are times when you want to keep watching the screen, but you don't want it to dim. And you don't want to continuously have to keep pressing the shift key to make it come up again. The good news is there's a way to fix this. So we're going to get out of here and we'll go into CAS. You can do it in the home as well, but I'll just first uh, show you in CAS. There is no RPN mode in CAS, by the way, uh, just to mention that. Now you can see the screen dimming by default is 30 seconds, but we can change that anywhere from 5 seconds and beyond. So to do that, we'll get our screen back here and then we're going to first of all we need to type in the number of milliseconds yes it has to be inputted not in seconds but in milliseconds so let's say that we want it to be uh, five seconds right well how many milliseconds is that going to be well for five seconds we're going to do five thousand and then we want to store that shift EEX for stow we're going to store that in a variable and that's number seven for a system and you can see it here is number seven TDIM now this is new as of the firmware um, June 2018 so we're going to choose that and then we're going to put 5,000 into TDIM and enter. And now 5,000 is in there, and if we count down the seconds to see how fast it dims, it dims in 5 seconds. But that, of course, is much too short. You cannot go below 5 seconds. And we're trying to extend the, the dimming time beyond the 30-second default anyway. So you don't want to... I mean, you can extend it out 5 minutes if you want to, but um, realistically, to save battery life, it's probably better to just double it to a minute or maybe set it on a couple minutes. So let's do that. If you want it to be uh, one minute, then you're going to have 60 seconds, and 60,000 is what you're going to need uh, to put into 60,000 milliseconds, right? You're going to need to store that in... 7, 7, for TDIM, and there we go. So now, uh, I'm not going to touch anything, and you can just see it here. It's already going past our 5 seconds, and it will stay bright, full brightness, uh, for 60 seconds. Unless uh, I touch something else, and then the timer is going to be reset. So that's just to show you uh, how to do that within cast. Now in home, home allows you to change the settings. Shift blue, blue shift and home is settings. You can see the little blue here. You can see that the entry mode is RPN. You can change that to textbook, algebraic and so on. But RPN mode applies to home. Unfortunately it doesn't apply to cast, but nevertheless we'll go to home. We can see that if we type in 5 times 25 Oh, we get an error because it's RPN mode, so that's confirming it. Uh, we're in RPN mode, so we have 5 on the stack. We'll put another 5 on the stack and multiply 25. So this is RPN mode. Now, what if you want to change the screen dimming timer uh, in RPN mode, in the home setting? Well, it's uh, very similar, uh, except that we're going to set it back to 5 seconds again. Let's, so that would be 5,000, right? So we're going to say 5,000. And then we want to put that into the variable TDIM. So I'm going to put quotes around it. Okay. And then I'm going to do variables and get our TDIM. And there it is. And now I'm going to store it. And we'll count down and see how well that goes. How fat? Yep, and there it is. You see, we accomplished it um, also in RPN mode. Now, I'll set it back. We're going to say 60,000. And then we want to have our quotes. 
and we'll store it. And now it's set on a minute, a minute dimming. Uh, I will just leave you with this one last thing. Um, if you actually don't want the screen to be this bright, you can reduce the brightness. This is maximum brightness, but you can reduce it just like on other HP calculators. And you do that by pressing and holding the on key at the bottom left, and then plus or minus, depending on whether you want to increase the brightness, plus, or decrease it. So in this case, we'll decrease it. On, minus, 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 and that's all you can go. So that's the lowest brightness. So when it dims, that goes to the lowest brightness. And if we want to brighten it up, on, plus one, plus two, plus three. And if we try it again, it won't go to plus four. So this is the maximum brightness of the screen. So just to let you know, on key and plus or minus will change that. And right now we're in home, but you can do it also in CAS, wherever you are, you can do the plus and the minus. Um, other HP calculators that didn't have an H a color screen, the plus and minus would adjust the contrast of the black and white screen. But in this case, on the prime, it addressed the brightness. So I hope this short video helps you to accomplish two things, which is uh, change your dimming timer. Don't forget it's in milliseconds. And also change your brightness manually by pressing and holding on and then pushing either uh, plus or minus. Thanks for watching.